Well, Mark Robinson, a brilliant win to get to the last 16 of the FAU Cup once again. So what yeah. are your thoughts? Yeah, obviously I'm really, really pleased. I thought the boys were, were, were very good tonight. Um, we started so well, but our end product, um, I thought the Arsenal wasn't particularly good first 15 minutes. Our crossing wasn't great. Our final ball let us down a little bit. So all the pressing was working and some of the build-up play was lovely and our end product was letting us down. But then we, we got the goal, which was a great goal. And, um, and I, yeah, I, I thought we played some some really, really good stuff. Um, we tried a new formation that we've we've sort of toyed with a bit and I thought it worked really, really well. And um, I, I don't think they, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful to Hull, but I just don't think they could have coped with us tonight, really. And I think, I don't think 3-0 flatters us at all. I think it, it could have been 5 or 6. So, and that's full credit to the boys. I thought we were excellent. Early in the season, there were a few dark days, perhaps when a few of these young lads were trying to adjust to stepping up. But yeah. How much hard work has gone into this? Yeah, loads of hard work, and, and and that's the thing of having an under twenty ones now. You know, you've got Paul, Toby regularly, and to be honest, breezy has been taking at least five, six every game. So that means on a Saturday, I've got younger players playing, and that's why our results have been up and down. But those younger players are obviously getting better all the time. The lads with Reevesy are getting better all the time, and then when you bring them back together, you know, you, this is this is what you get. So. Um, so, you know, I, I kept saying to you I knew it would come good because I saw signs. It was just naivety early in the season. Um, you know, so on Saturday when we beat Orient, only five of the lads that started tonight started. And then I rotated again and we still got a, a good result. So, you know, that is what it's about. It's about development. Obviously, tonight's all about winning, but the rest of the everything we do is about development. Over 600 pounds spectators here oh, tonight yeah. as well. Okay. I mean, how much did you sense that people really identify with the you know young lads and moving forward? Yeah, I mean that's fantastic to hear. So I mean with the kids and that, that means it must have been sort of around about 800 here. So uh, which is brilliant and it's great that that sort of numbers come down. And I hope they really enjoyed it. I mean as I said to you in the interview before the game, the main goal is fingers crossed the gaffer sits there and sees some potential. So you know I'm hoping that's the case. I thought there were some really good individual performances and co collectively. You know, I thought they were excellent. They showed they understand shape, they understand things. So, um, and hopefully the fans saw that as well and, and thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't think that music uh, just down the tunnel there is your cup of tea. But no, what, what no. were the scenes like uh, afterwards? Yeah, the, the, we, we listen. I, I try and keep it professional as possible because you know, but. They've got to have their downtime and enjoy it. I stay out. I don't get involved with the music. He's right, not my cup of tea. But no, they're great. And what is even better is um, five or six of the boys from last year have come back. So um, Dom and Dan Anno and um, Batch are all there. So I brought them into the dressing room as well. And the lads went absolutely potty when they saw okay. them. So that just shows, you know, that shows the, the spirit. It shows what the club's all about, that those boys still feel connected, despite the fact they didn't get their pro contracts. They still feel connected to the club and, and what we did last year. And the boys were so happy to see him, they went absolutely mad when they walked in, so that's great. In terms of what's up next, I know there's potential league games, but the carrots of Everton or Preston, you know, what does that mean to you and the boys? Yeah, it's great. I mean, the league is still massively important to us because we're, you know, we're creeping up the table and we want to do that because we want to get back to somewhere where we should be. I mean, I don't think there's a better team in the league than us when we put our full side out. But, you know, because of the sort of stuttering start early, we want to climb up the league, so we've got a big game Saturday. And to be honest, you know, we honestly don't talk about the FA Youth Cup until it gets to preparation. Um, you know, obviously there'd be that tinge of excitement. They play next Wednesday, um, Preston and Everton, so I'm going to drive up there next Wednesday, because it's normally my day off, but I'm going to drive up there and watch that, um, which gives me a chance to see them live, so I'm going to go and watch that live, and hopefully I'll, I'll see some things. And then once we get the date, um, we do what we normally do, which involves at least an hour sitting down in, together, like in a classroom session, sort of with the boys answering questions from based on what I've seen, and, and then the build up and the preparation starts from there. And what's become a bit of a recurring theme is asking you for your marks out of 10 yeah. on that performance. Do we you dare ask you, you again? You only do it because you know I don't like it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suppose an eight, yeah, got to be an eight. I suppose, um, yeah, has to be a, around that. Um, yeah, as I said, just a little bit end product. I thought could have been better. That might have been a little bit of nerves. You get that and finishing really, um, you know, because I think we really could have put them to the sword a little bit earlier. But um, yeah, no, it, it was very good. Well done, Mark. Cheers, thank you.